That is one set of rules that applies to the substance. Having said that, there are other laws that can apply to the arbitration, and that's where we look at the law applicable to the arbitral seat. Now, what is the arbitral seat? The arbitral seat is the law of the place where the arbitration is going to take place. This is something the parties can agree in their arbitration clause. This is different from the law applicable to the substance of the dispute. The lex arbitri or the law of the seat will determine the procedural rule Let's take a look at the regime generally, right? Adjudication globally can operate as one, a dispute resolution regime allowing contracting parties to resolve all disputes under the contract, or it just confines to only the disputes that are raised with the aim of determining the amount that is due and payable, and so ensuring payments are uh, timely and, and reaches out to the claimants okay so you, you you appreciate you have to appreciate that it can either be for just payment claims or it could resolve disputes and I'll show you examples of how that is essentially with adjudication there are two broad manners in which adjudication can take place First, we'll talk about the application for correction of award, which is governed by Article 33.1 subparagraph A. A party can avail of this within a limited period of 30 days from receipt of the award. And it can only avail of this under the grounds of errors committed, which are computational in nature, clerical or typographical, and others of similar nature. Note that this remedy is echoed but in slightly different language in Article 36 of the Uncitral Arbitration Rules. The permitted corrections are narrow and only for the purpose of addressing unintended errors. It is not supposed to modify the reasoning and findings of the arbitral tribunal. An example of a typographical error is that in the body of the final award, the tribunal speaks of granting a claimant 100 million US dollars, but in the dispositive portion, it inadvertently only mentions a grant of 10 million US dollars.